Okay, last night's uh, pictures has brought me a few comments about me saying I was using a Manfrotto tripod. Well, this is somewhat Heath Robinson, but I've had this for quite a few years. Essentially, it's a Manfrotto tripod. I believe it's a, an 055 or something like that. You can get these in carbon as well, but being Manfrotto, you know, decent photographic gear, which, you know, pretty much everybody else is using anyway, just not in their own name. Um, this works very well. It's not super light, but it is super stable. And as I say, you can get a carbon fiber version. But the interesting part is this part because it's got a ball head with a grip. So with the rifle in the rest at the top, you can just leave it, quick squeeze, and, and the rifle will sit wherever you want it to. And you can, you know, there's a, there's a tension adjuster here. It's nothing fancy whatsoever, but it works. Now, you'll see on the top, I'm trying to do this one handed, that's got the regular Manfrotto fitting which is the clip you could actually put one of those on the underside of your, uh, your rifle if you wanted to but i just put it on that now that as i say i've had this a lot of years that is a piece of i don't know three inch wide aluminium u channel and it's got foam packing on it and it's built up with good old gaffer tape which you just cannot beat now the upside of this is you can make that exactly as long as you want it to be so the gun can slide forwards and backwards or it will clump you know it will squeeze in position customize this a little bit for what you're going to use it for to get the right tension as you want it but it means you've got full access to your magazine here this can be swapped um, left-handed by the way if needs be you've got full access to your magazine here and if you need to tip the gun out or lift it up or whatever like that i just find if you, especially if you get a magazine feed you've got less of a problem and the other thing is, because this is a longer channel, especially on lighter sporting rifles with, you know, four ends that don't particularly want gripping up with a huge great lock nut in a, in a clamp, this also works very well. I would say for shooting it, you know, everybody's got their own preferences. I tend to go with the two legs towards me so that when it does come, it comes back rather than being with one leg towards me, which would make it kind of kick one way or the other under recoil but then again this is you now this is nighttime foxing use 223 or 243 rifles and i only use this if i'm going somewhere and waiting out i can set it up however high i want it i don't use it if i'm walking and stalking because if i'm doing that i do use my viper flex sticks because they offer a much better option for that and they're great for using glassing as well as for shooting off but there you go, that's a little overview of my very simple Manfrotto ball head. Because at the end of the day, camera gear is where all these special tripods originated from. And although you can get some far more heavy duty and complicated systems, a lot of them are far more than required and considerably more expensive than required. Because if you want something that will just chuck in the back of your truck, one of these probably comes in at about a couple of hundred quid. Um, and it is super solid. You can pick up loads of them secondhand from you know ex photographers and whatever on eBay or Facebook or whatever like that. Um, just to give you a tiny little bit more detail, you have got a centre column adjust on that if you needs be. And as I probably showed you, the legs are in three parts, so you can set them up as you want. Right, well, um, there you go. I hope you sort of found that a bit interesting. As I say, this is an old piece of kit. I've had it for a long time. I've used it so much over the years. And it's nothing fancy, but like anything, if you build it once right, it doesn't need to be fancy or expensive. It just works really well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.